Hello everybody, welcome to part 3 of my AZ-104 training course. In this lesson we're going to be talking about Azure Tenants and talking about domains. So let's jump right into the portal. As you can see I've already got the portal up right here. And all it is, you go to portal.azure.com and if you don't already have an account, you can go ahead and create it. It's totally free. So in this one, you can follow along with me. It's not going to be charging you any money and we're going to be deleting those resources after the video. So first things first, we're going to change the theme to, we're going to go into the portal settings and we're going to change the theme to dark. Just like that. And you know, you can, you can change the themes however you want, but essentially we're going to change it away from the default setting because this is something that is going to prove my point later on. So. Let's navigate to the default directory. And for that, we go to the search resources and type in Azure Active Directory. And here we have a default directory. So the default directory is automatically created when you create your account and your login credentials become the identity credentials for the global administrator account, also known as the root user. So it's from this default directory that we can see the Azure AD tenant, or also known as an instance of Azure AD. It has identity resources like users, groups, and many more features. We can switch between tenants just like this, Another way to switch between tenants is go to the top right and go to switch directory. As I mentioned earlier, tenants are essentially different instances. If you've ever played an online video game before, like World of Warcraft, there are these areas called instances. And there could be thousands of players in thousands of different instances. However, when you enter the instance, you won't see any of those players as they are all in their own instance. The same applies to the tenants of Azure AD. You can create resources, groups, and features in one instance that won't be available in the other instances. So if we create another tenant, it won't have access to the resources inside of the subscription that this tenant has access to because the subscription can only be in a relationship with one Azure AD tenant at a time and Azure AD tenants do not have parent-child relationships. And Azure AD tenants can have trust relationships with subscriptions or mini subscriptions and that allows it to provide those identities access to the cloud-based resources inside of an Azure subscription. So let's create a new Azure AD tenant and we'll choose the tenant type as Azure Active Directory. Hit next to configuration. We can give it a name. I'll put in Super Tech Bros. Initial domain name, Super Tech Bros. And my country is going to be Canada. Hit review and create. So it takes a few minutes. But I can fast forward it ahead of time. So I'll see you in the future. Hello everybody, it's me from the future. Our tenant creation was successful. And let's go ahead and click here to navigate to our new tenant. It's going to open up a new tab. And as you can see, now our theme is back to the default. And, you know, we can switch between this tenant and the other one by going to switch tenant. Here's a default. Here's a new one we created. Or we can go in the top right, go to switch directory. And as you can see before, there were none to choose from. But now we've got this one or this one. So again, our new tenant has everything back to the default settings. So that means we're starting brand new again, as if we just spun up portal.azure.com for the first time. And if we go under and if we go under users, we can see that we have only one user, and that's going to be our global administrator user. So up at the top, we'll go ahead and go back into the active directory of Azure. And on the left hand side here under manage, we're going to select custom domain names. Here we can create a name for our domain. Click add. 
and we can type in any name we want. So I'm going to type in supertechbros.com, add domain, and we could check the record type as txt or mx. I'm going to go ahead and t use the txt, and now we can verify it, but it's not going to work. So in order to validate the domain name, we must go to our registrar and provide a record, and we can choose between txt or mx record. And I'm going to go over to Amazon Web Services because that's where I'm hosting my domain, Super Tech Bros. If you don't already have an AWS account, it's free, super quick to set up. And all we're going to do is type in hosted zones at the top. The Route 53 management console is fine. This is super easy. All you have to do is go create hosted zone, type in that domain name, You don't need a description. We'll go under public hosted zone, create hosted zone. Once it's created, we go create record over here. And we're going to select the TXT. And the value we're going to be putting in is the destination or point address right here. We'll go copy the clipboard and put that right there and we'll hit create records. Now it might take a little bit of time for this to sync and properly get created. As you can see if I verify it's saying failed so we might have just not given it enough time yet. So it's been about an hour and it's still not working so maybe we need to set up a more legitimate hosted zone record location to, in order to do that but anyway so there was this was kind of the last thing I was going to show anyways and we weren't going to do anything with this I was kind of just going over things that you could do in Azure Active Directory with different tenants and just kind of navigating around just to see the different options but essentially the biggest takeaway from this video the important parts to remember the parts you need to write down is it's one tenant at a time per subscription and there is no child parent relationship between Azure AD tenants so you need to switch between an Azure AD tenants in order to access their individual identity resources and play around with the subscriptions that they have a trust relationship established with so that brings us to the end of our lesson I hope you found some value in what I had to say and I hope to see you in the next video if you would like to get these videos in advance, or if you would like to be personally tutored by me, I would highly appreciate you subscribing to my Patreon so you can get, so you can help me create more great content for you. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.